Blizzard Entertainment partners with Nordwin Gaming to bring its services to India. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster might be coming very very soon and so much more. My name is Given Madness and welcome to the top gaming news of this week. Blizzard Entertainment has partnered with Nordwin Gaming that is India's biggest esports company so that the digital distribution can be brought to India. Players will be able to buy digital balance cards offered in Indian rupees which is GST compliant as well as they can buy the same in Amazon, Flipkart and Digistore. Now what do these digital balance cards mean? Well it is somewhat of like Steam wallet card where you can use these cards to buy games such as Overwatch, Call of Duty or maybe even World of Warcraft and not only that you can also buy things like Call of Duty coins, loot boxes, a various number of World of Warcraft items and so much more. Right now you can do the same by going to the shop in Battle.net app but unfortunately everybody has to use PayPal account in order to buy anything they want to and since not everybody in India is using PayPal account it is hard for everyone to buy the games owned by Blizzard. To be honest it should be easier for everyone to buy any game that they want to play instead of you know making it complex like using PayPal only to buy games or using credit card only to buy games. I think Blizzard should do something that his team is doing right now by including Paytm as a payment option to buy games or whatever they want to buy from Steam. Right now if you buy any Blizzard game you have to use a PayPal account and there is no debit card being used directly in the application or in the website even. If this partnership is there which means you can buy Blizzard games without having to use PayPal accounts. Instead we can use these digital balance cards like once we are using Steam wallet cards. What games are you playing from Blizzard? I play Overwatch and Call of Duty. Let me know in the comments below what do you play and do you enjoy playing them. In response to GDC which was being cancelled and a lot of developers were supposed to showcase their games, now they are previewing their own game thanks to Steam Game Festival Spring Edition. Now this is the last day for Steam Game Festival so if you want to try out any of the games go ahead right now and try out the games that there are present. Now all the games are free because basically there are demo versions of these games that are supposed to come out later in the future. One of those games is Razi an Ancient Epic. Now this is an Indian game and has a lot of positive reviews coming out of it from the first time they released a demo. Now this game is made by a studio called Nodding Head Games and this is their very very first game. Razi is an action adventure game which is taken place in ancient India where you play as Razi who is chosen by the gods to save the earth from demons who have infiltrated the human realm. Her destiny is to save her younger brother and also to face a demon lord named Mahabalasura. Now again any game which is set in Indian mythology or Indian culture is really interesting because there is a lot of things that has not been covered in any video game that has ever been made. There was another Indian game called Asura which had a lot of positive reviews and also won a lot of awards which is also an action slasher game similar to what Razi is. But both the games look very different from each other and you should definitely try out both the games. Right now Asura is available at a very low price in Steam so you should definitely check it out. Now the game has been inspired by games like God of War, Brother A Tale of Two Sons and even Dark Souls as the developers say it. So check this game out right now it is present in Steam right now as a demo version for free and play it out. Let's see how do you guys like it and let me know if you have played this game already in the comments below. The game does not have an official date yet but I cannot wait for this game to come out. Apparently in Steam page it says that this game is gonna come on Q2 2020 that means somewhere around summer of 2020 and hopefully that happens. Now it looks like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster might be coming very very soon because there's another sighting that has been seen in the internet. Now of course this is not official this has been based on rumors and leaks that are present in the internet. Like this one where game rating and administrator committee has listed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign remaster. Interesting thing is is that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster is called Campaign Remaster. On the other hand Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster included both multiplayer as well as single player. Now this is not to be confused by the new Modern Warfare series that Call of Duty cooked up last year and right now they are building up on that series but that series is different because that one is a soft reboot of the entire Modern Warfare series. This Modern Warfare 2 Remaster is based on the Modern Warfare series that was released way back in the day. Now this isn't the first time Modern Warfare 2 Remaster had surfaced over the internet. Back in 2019 it was spotted that Peggy has given the game a rating of Peggy 18 and also back in 2018 there was a listing of Modern Warfare 2 Remaster in Amazon Italy. 
Now all these sightings can say that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster is definitely coming, but we still have to wait for the official statement from Blizzard or Activision. The last remaster came with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And although the game wasn't that good, but a lot of people bought the game to play Modern Warfare Remaster. Now maybe Modern Warfare 2 Remaster can also be included in another Call of Duty game that will be coming maybe this year. Now talking about the next Call of Duty, it has been also rumored that the next Call of Duty will be a Black Ops reboot. Now this reboot will focus on real world conflicts such as Cold War and Vietnam War and will have a grittier gameplay. I would say it is very good to do a reboot since Modern Warfare Soft Reboot did very good in terms of boldness and applying something new into the game. But with that being said, Black Ops was one of my favorite games from Call of Duty franchise because its story was completely different and interesting. So I don't have any hopes whether the reboot is coming out or not but if it comes out, I still won't have any hopes that the story will be better. But what do you think about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster and do you think that Black Ops Reboot is a good idea from Call of Duty? Let me know all of that in the comments below. Speaking of games that you can try out, Rainbow Six Siege has a new arcade mode, Golden Gun. Ubisoft dropped this arcade mode from out of nowhere called Golden Gun, where you will have the Golden Gun, obviously, which is so powerful that you only need one shot to kill the enemy, but after every shot, you have to reload. Now this is a fun looking arcade game because when you shoot a person, the person literally flies. It's like one of those horror movies where a man is being possessed by a ghost. Now you can play this game with using speed operators like Ash or Alibi because you will get extra speed because half of the time either you are reloading or you are dodging the bullets. Now the reload animation is so fancy, it seems like you are coming right from the wild west. Now these deagles not only kill one person in one shot but also break doors, windows and hatchets in one shot. Now this is just for fun, especially for people who are going to rank and then just want to take a time out and play this fun game. It is just interesting to see how they are including arcade mode in this game. And maybe in the future more arcade games might come out, unlike Overwatch where there is an arcade option and nobody gives a damn. Unfortunately the game mode will end today itself so if you haven't tried it out, I guess now is the time. Now speaking of Overwatch, they actually brought a new hero, a 30 second hero. And here I thought they are done with Overwatch production because they themselves said that they are working on Overwatch 2 more. I guess I was wrong. The most recent hero is called Echo who is created by Dr. Mina Liao. I think that's how you call her. And you can play her in PTR right now. Now this character was seen in Overwatch 2 cinematic but Jeff told that you have seen her before. In the reunion cinematic which is a cinematic of McCree and Ash where by the end of the video you see McCree pulling out Echo from her pod. Now the story is quite interesting but how does she really play? Well she has a primary fire which shoots 3 shots at once in a triangular form. Now that triangular form is small but it spreads larger as it goes in a distance similar to that of Genji. She also throws 3 sticky bombs that detonate on their own and also she can fly just like Mercy and Farah. She also have a beam attack which will be doing most damage if the enemy is half health and it will completely melt them out of existence. So by looking at how she plays, she isn't as powerful in giving damage even though she is listed as a DPS. But maybe these damage numbers can change in time. Now the best thing about this character is the ultimate which is absolutely insane. Basically what this character can do is it can clone the enemy character in whatever shape or form. For example, if Mei is the enemy character, you can transform into Mei and use her same abilities even ultimates for at least 15 seconds. That's a long time to using someone else as your hero. Now this can be played out in very different ways. So if your team already has two tanks and if in the enemy side you have another tank for example Reinhardt, you can choose to clone Reinhardt and use Reinhardt abilities one after the other to take advantage of that situation. So the ultimate is the most interesting thing from Echo. And now I think to play this character a lot of people will be using combos of her primary fire, sticky bombs and even the beam to do the most damage. What do you guys think about the new hero in Overwatch? Have you tried playing it in PTR? Let me know in the comments below. Now since the pandemic is going out strong and all of you guys are staying in home, it's time to play some games and one of those games is Tomb Raider which is right now free to play in Steam. Now along with that there is also Lara Croft and the Temple of Orisis which is a co-op spin-off available for free in Steam. This offer unfortunately ends today itself so if you want to get this, go ahead and do it right now. Now Tomb Raider 2013 wasn't much of a popular game since it was a reboot of the already present franchise built by Lara Croft character. 
Now this game also gave birth to two more games making it a series of three games and all these three games didn't perform that well but were also not that bad to play. Now if you want to play more games you can also join Xbox Game Pass which you can join for only rupees 50 and after the first month is done you will pay only 250 per month to play all the games that Xbox Game Pass has. So those games are Ori and the Will of the Wisp that came literally on March 11th, A Plague Tale Innocence, Yakuza 0 and so much more. Xbox Game Pass is the best thing that you should get because there's a lot of games that you guys should definitely try out for example Metro Exodus. And to be honest, I feel it's completely worth it to buy Xbox Game Pass. Well, that was it for this week of top gaming news. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below what you think about any of the news we just discussed above. And also, do not forget to hit that like button, click on subscribe because we have more videos coming every single week. Make sure to join Gamer Connect community on Facebook because we have a lot more things, including Gamer Connect community showcase happening right there. And also, follow us on all social media platforms so that you can get to know everything about Gamer Connect. My name is Gamer Madness, and I'll see you guys in the next video.